Okay, so uh, this is a quick video on showing how to use actual virtual desktops. And the reason I looked for it is because I was trying to find a way to capitalize as much as I could on my spare monitor, which is this one right here. So this is my spare monitor. This is my main monitor that I do all my gaming on. It's an ultra wide. And then this is just like a little monitor that's in my actual PC. It's kind of cool. Anyways, so this monitor is where I want to have multiple virtual desktops with hotkeys. So that way when I'm gaming or if I'm in intermission and I want to look at either my Discord or I want to look at my Rewaz program, which is where I map all my keys for my Azeron, or if I want to look at my stream, which has all my OBS stuff laid out, or like my audio. So my music, um, my beacon uh, software, all of that is then on my spare monitor and not taking up any other real estate and it just works really well so i'll kind of go through line by line um but to start off it's a 20 dollars program and you get the license for a year now if you don't want to continue the license you get the last upgrade of that year and then you don't need you won't get any more updates um, for the program um, but you won't have to pay any extra now if you want updates then you can keep paying um but again this works how i want it to so i don't foresee me needing to pay an, an additional twenty dollars um, or like a, a reduced price at the end of the year so first thing you're going to see is virtual desktop um, here on the top with options um, you want to click on independent if you go to classic then they just kind of mash all of these together it's not what you're looking for because every time you use a hotkey, it'll change all of your screens and it'll affect your game. So you do independent. Um, and then on and all the other monitors, don't make a virtual desktop. I found that it affected my frames. It affected my game. It was, it was bad because essentially what this program does is it makes one massive um, desktop and then just makes it look as if they're their own desktops, like their own monitor. Um, so if you have a weaker graphics card, this may affect performance, um, but I haven't seen it affect anything for me personally. Um, but on your spare monitor, you'll make however many virtual desktops you want. I have a streaming, I have a Discord and Rewised, and I also have an audio. Um, so each one has a different hotkey that I then put on my... Stream Deck. So I have my Discord button, I have my Stream button, and I have my Audio button. So every time I hit these, then the desktop, the virtual desktop on my spare monitor will change um, at a push of a button, which is awesome. So in order to do that, you just click here, um, you label it, and then you use your hotkey. So I use Shift Alt and then a Num key. Um, very rarely will you see that combination in a game. Um, so that's what I do for all of them, left, right, up, and then uh, tag, and then use the hotkey for the stream deck. Uh, moving down, global options, leave this alone. Default settings, I have it unchecked. So this button can be checked. I uncheck that, but then I leave the via Windows menu item. So with that, when you right click and this menu comes up, on every other thing, it'll show like a little sub menu for actual virtual desktop. So it's just a kind of nice little thing exclusions do not worry about this um, i would just leave all this stuff alone um, this is essentially if you want to just exclude a program from the uh, the software but i haven't ran into any situations where i need to do that um, and then specific settings now this is where it's really going to get fun um, so what you can do is i will try to show you here so let's go to discord and then you can click this select window from list and then you just click and hold with your left mouse button and you can drag it over. I don't know if this is gonna show. You can drag it over and click on the actual software that's open already. So if you can see on the left is my Discord, I just bring it over, hang it over the top, click on it, and then it'll auto-populate everything. But because it's already auto-populated, um, all these things like Windows Class, Windows Caption, Programs will all automatically populate. You want to leave those all checked and i'll explain to you in a minute why you'll also want at startup on 
with specified desktop and then you specify the desktop you want it to um, go to automatically when you start that app. So it's really nice. I can click my uh, hotkey button on my stream deck to open my discord and then it'll automatically go to this specific desktop, virtual desktop that I've made. Um, so let's keep that on Discord and Rewaz. And you can do that with all the things, right? So with Beacon, um, with the window class, I actually unchecked this and I'll show you why I did it in a minute. And I did that with, uh, I think OBS as well, or Rewaz. Um, <clears throat> so you don't wanna uncheck these because sometimes what happens is, is like here, when I right click, it won't open this. Like it'll, it'll open, it'll, it'll do like one of these things where it'll like open it really quick and it won't keep it open. It's really odd. And then same thing with like drop downs. It has like this weird thing with drop downs where it affects it for some reason. Um, so if you leave this unchecked, let's just see if I can do it here. Um, see, of course it doesn't want to do it but it has done it in the past. I know that was Beacon, sorry. Let me uh, apply, go to Rewaz, uncheck these, apply, and then if you right click, see, it'll just do this. And it's super annoying because you can't go in and change anything. So when you have them checked and apply, this, this drove me nuts for like hours and I was trying to figure out how to do it. And this is the fix. So just, <laughs> just leave them checked after they're made. There's no point in changing them, um, but you can do this with all of them. OBS, um, I have it on my streaming monitor. Um, and then Discord, I have it on my um, Discord and Rewaz. Beacon is on my audio, and then my Amazon Music is also on my audio. So if you can see on the left side here is when I hit stream. I, don't, I have OBS up right now because I'm recording on this, but this, mon this screen would be OBS. Um, and then how I have it laid out will open every time like that when I open OBS, it's really nice. And then this is my, um, uh, this is my audio. So it has my Beacon um, software on the bottom and then it has my Amazon Music on the top. So really cool um, and just flip back and forth from there. Action hotkeys, I disable this um, just so that you know, you don't accidentally hit something when you're gaming or whatever the case may be, but I haven't found the need for it. So I just don't use it because I have my own built-in ones from the options bar here. Um, general load at startup, enable tray icon, single click, everything else unclicked. Uh, check for updates. I have it once a month. Uh, you can do once weekly, right? Um, but just check whenever to see if there's an update for the software. User interface, all unchecked. Control center. Again, right, exit pause, configure, back it up. You're gonna change out to another computer. Um, license, uh, if you wanna upgrade, register, whatever the case may be. And then the rest is pretty much just uh, help for the, the different managers that this program has. But that's it in a nutshell. Um, let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, um, but I've found this extremely useful when streaming. All right, have a good one.